Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to tell you about the major history taking points that you can use in pediatrics. The first major point is approaching the patient. You should always approach the patient from the right side. The second point to remember is introducing yourself. Then the third point is consent. Taking the consent from the child if uh, he or she can speak or talk to you easily or taking the consent from the mother or the guardian of the patient. Then the second point that is uh, on the list is patient's profile that you are going to ask for. In patient's profile, you cover the following points that is name, father's name or guardian's name, age, address, date of admission, and time of admission. After this, you ask the patient for the chief complaints or presenting complaints. Chief, in, in chief complaints, you have to write them in the chronological order in which the patient tells you that comes for, that has the onset for the first, then the second, then the third. For example, we have uh, a patient who has loose tools from past four days, fever, three days and history of vomiting one day. After this, the next heading is HOPI or history of presenting illness. In this, you are going to ask the patient about the um, diseases or symptoms that he or she uh, told you first. The major points of these symptoms I'm going to discuss in my next videos and uh, 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 after this you are going to ask for the past history. In past history you ask the patient for any surgical or medically relevant admissions or any of the diseases that he or she is suffering from and then the next heading is drug history. In drug history you are going to ask about any of the drugs or medications that he or she is on and uh, is be has been eating from uh, several months, years or maybe some days. So you have to ask for it. It is important to know that uh, which medications your patient is already on. Then the next uh, thing that you are, are going to ask and the major heading is systemic history. In systemic history, you're going to ask for the general history that uh, includes your weight, appetite, and etc. The next thing you are going to ask in systemic history is about CVS, central um, uh, uh, cardiovascular system, then CNS, GIT, respiratory system, that if he or she has any problem in such systems relevant to the presenting complaints. Then you are going to ask for the birth history. Pediatric history is different from other histories in points that it, it is very lengthy first and the second is that it contains lots of different points from other histories like birth history. In birth history, you are majorly concerned about the um, birth of the baby, the pregnancy of the mother, the, way, uh, the birth um, time of the baby, etc. So the first subheading for the birth history is antenatal history. 
that is before the birth of the baby and in this you are going to ask the mother about her pregnancy how she got to know about her pregnancy the diseases that she suffered that she suffered from her and during her pregnancy or any medications the supplements of folic acid calcium etc that she has been uh, she has been eating and during her pregnancy the ultrasounds the number of ultrasounds the visits to the doctor etc the next subheading that you uh, that includes in the birth birth history is natal history in natal history you ask if the baby was born through svd uh, spontaneous vaginal delivery or c section and you also ask for the gestation time if the baby is full term term on term pre term post term so uh, the normal gestation time is obviously 9 months so you are going to ask about that as well then comes post natal history in which you're going to ask for the health of the baby just after birth this includes if the baby is cyanosed jaundiced the cry of the baby the difficulties in breathing whether or not present then you're going to ask if the baby had any um, birth injuries or any blood transfusions after injury um, birth and any of the diseases that he or she suffered directly after birth the next heading that you are going to see is the major heading and it is about the feeding history of the baby in feeding history you ask about breast feeding the major points that when is the breast fed feeding when has the breast feeding been started till when when it is stopped etc then weaning history and in weaning you ask about uh, when he uh, when the patient or the baby um had eaten started eating etc and whatever he, uh, he his mother is giving to him to eat the next major heading for pediatric history is immunization immunization in this immunization um heading um, we ask for the vaccinations that uh, the baby had uh, from the mother and uh, um, we also ask for every um vaccination for polio for um, hepatitis and etc if he the baby had them or not after birth then the next heading is developmental history in developmental history you ask for the developmental milestones or gross milestones for the, the for the baby when for example when he smiled when he started neck holding when he started sitting crawling standing up and running walking etc it also includes the sensory motor system and the reflexes etc so you are going to ask for that if the baby is and you can judge from this heading that if the baby is developmentally delayed or not then the next heading is family history in family history under this heading you ask for the patient's parents the grandparents in uh, you can ask for the chronic illnesses his parents or um, his uh, grandparents are suffering from you can also ask for the ages of the parents and also that if um, any other disease like uh, asthma diabetes or hypertension runs in the family etc or any other illness that his her brothers uh, um, other siblings have the next heading that we are going to discuss is socio economic history in socio economic history you ask for the um, patient's residence you ask for the patient's house house is it big and you judge it by the number of rooms you ask also ask if the house is ventilated or not you can ask for the water for, uh, for drinking and for other household uses from where they get it and etc you can ask, uh, also ask if they have pets or not in their house and also for their financial status 
and if they are having difficulty in financial uh, in finances then you can uh, also counsel them and um, ask them that um, you can just counsel them and uh, this is about the pediatric history and if you want to um, watch another video about other histories i'm going to upload them soon thank you for watching this video and please subscribe my channel